for a number of years we've known we've had some limitations with the CDP questionnaire and scoring methodology. Firstly, that it was backward looking. We were looking at maybe one year's data uh, in the past. And we know that to solve climate change, we need to look forward to the future because it's a problem for now, but also for the future. Uh, so with ACT, we hope to resolve this. The other issue is that the questionnaire we were sending and the scoring methodology which we were applying was the same for all companies. It didn't matter if you were a supermarket or an oil company. We were asking the same questions. Now clearly these companies have very, very different business models and when it comes to climate change they have very different actions which they need to implement. So we need to do something which is sector specific. So ACT allowed us to explore these areas and to integrate some emerging ideas within the climate management space like scenario analysis, like collecting asset level data for companies uh, and to experiment a bit and see what worked and what didn't work. So at CDP we have a number of programs. Uh, we're best known for our investor-led program. Uh, where we have the authority from the investors, the, the shareholders of big companies, to go and ask those companies about their emissions, about their climate change management. Um, but we also have a programme which is our supply chain programme, and that's led by large purchasing organisations. And those companies will go to their suppliers and ask the very same questions about their emissions, about their climate strategy. And this is a really, really important programme in terms of growing awareness of climate change because yes the economy is made of very large companies but it's also made up of those small and medium-sized enterprises so it's absolutely critical um, that we have the participation of these companies as well and what I've heard today um, has been really positive in terms of the actions that those companies have taken uh, and are thinking of taking to help to fight climate change. So we're going to continue, um, as we discussed a little bit today, one of our focuses for 2018 uh, is to implement a governance model, both at the international level, um, which will capture you know, the stakeholders working with the larger companies, um, but also to look at how we can work at the national level uh, and to try and convene uh, committees and decision-making bodies and technical experts at both levels to interact. because. Frankly, we need action at all levels if we're going to stop climate change.